All right, so number 10. Surgical asepsis, which is? Clean. More, more than sterile. 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 Yeah. Medical asepsis is clean technique, and we'll go over that. That's 16. Surgical is sterile. Okay, what's the definition of sterile? Because I guarantee it'll be on your test. No bacteria or anything on it. Yeah, so completely, complete. Microbial. I cannot spell, but free of microorganisms. Perfect. Actually, there's another O right there, but. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, what kind of things, when do we do sterile technique? Like surgery. Surgery? Perfect. When do we do it mostly? Catheter. Foley, yeah. What else? Does anyone have a lab today? No. Nope, we have it. Okay. Um, central line dressing change. Do you guys know what a central line is? It's when you have like that, it's like really, it's like that IV axis right in here. You put it into like your vein. And you just, so it's like has to be really strong because it's really close to the heart. Where does it go to? I wish I could tell you. What's your best line you mean? I think it goes to the artery. Because it's a surgical procedure. Oh, okay. And they have one. So, but you have to change it like, if you have, if you have a bile patch, you change it every week. If you don't, you change it every three days. So we're going to do it a lot. You guys are going to learn the skill. So that has to be sterile. And also, um, sterile dressing changes, like just on your leg or whatever, that can be sterile as well. So those are what we usually do at the hospital. Um, don't be confused with like when we give shots and stuff. That's medical asepsis because mm -hmm. that's like just alcohol. It's not sterile. Mm -hmm. So that's almost free organisms, but it's not completely. Okay. So with this, also remember that like um, the GI tract is considered outside the body, so it doesn't have to be sterile because like. Mm -hmm. And G tube isn't sterile. We eat food; it's not sterile. And that being said, like suppository, that's part of the GI tract. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So when we are sterile, when we build a sterile field, there's a bunch of rules. What are they? They could be like Never select all the apply on the test. Yep. Sterile field. Never cross field. Perfect. So don't like reach over it. What else? Never turn your back to it. Yep. So keep eyes on field, or else like how you do not stay sterile. Don't leave the room. Pardon me? Don't never leave the room. That kind of goes along with. Yep. Don't take your hands out there. Don't leave room. Can you talk over a sterile field? No. Yeah. Unless you have a mask, right? Because you see doctors in the OR doing mm -hmm. that. Um, if it, if you're kind of. below the waist. Yeah. So keep hands above waist. So, like in the OR, if they see you drop your hands, would you guys go to the OR next semester? You know that? Those are fighting. You go like six times. I like I that. I want to say four. Well, hot tub. Oh, okay. You yeah. Kayla's already gone. To the OR? Yeah. I thought she went to ICU. But no, there's a few of us that went to ICU. But cool. she got to go to in the... Athena? Yeah. Cool. Because it's so small. I'm going to have to say it. Like, place. In, her in the OR. Oh, yeah. Fifth sixth floor. Really? <laughs> right now. Fifth is fine. But in the OR, if you like drop your hand like this, you have to put new struggles on, things like that. So keep them above. Um, uncertainty. Certain. Okay, I'm not spelling things right, but whatever. <laughs> um, if you look at it and you're like, I don't know if that's stale or not, it's not stale. So anything that you're not sure of is considered not stale. Okay, and also, um, if it gets wet, so if you drop some drips on your sterile field, it's not sterile. Does anyone know why? This is because now that like whatever like your surface was wet now it's permeable to those microorganisms. Uh, so we're like, like a pathway for them to come up through. Okay, how big is your border? Your sterile border? Like one to two inches. Yep. Perfect. So anything the border is always considered unsterile because it's closed. Okay. All right, so number 11. Um, so obviously, teaching sterile field, if they're in surgery, don't worry about it, they're knocked out. But, um, like the ones that they're awake, all these folies, essential dressing changes, things like that, you have to teach the patient about sterile technique because they're awake and they could like, risk invading the sterile field. So when are you gonna teach them about sterile field and like what it is and what they're expected of? 
before. Before, yeah, before you start the procedure. It's kind of obvious. Um, yeah, so with the U.S. Olivenson lab, with the central line dressing, since it's like right here, you can either tell the patient, <laughs> and if you want to see it, wear a mask and we can like have you look at it while we're doing it. If not, keep your head turned. So that's something you teach them. Um, fully catheter, even any dressing change, just tell them don't move. Don't touch it. With the catheter? Yeah, or even dressing change. Don't touch it, let me do this. Um, have them wash their hands beforehand. If it's like a wound change and you're just kind of close to them, just in case. Okay. Um, so teach them like, don't move your hands over the field, don't talk over it, unless you have a mask, things like that. Okay, cool.